All right, this is going to cover uh, overlap, um, incomplete separation by distillation. So what we have to do when we're dealing with overlap is we, we have to make sure that our feed out matches our flow in, otherwise overlap is going to occur and we can't completely separate the products by distillation the way we, the way we want to. Okay, and so what we need to know is we need to know what of our maximums are. And so what we have up here is we have uh, a flow out of the distillate, okay, 90 gallons a minute. We have a maximum flow rate out of the residue, the bottoms product of 140 gallons a minute. This could be heater limitations, pump limitations, any type of equipment limitations. It says this is the max we can get out. So if there's any more than 90 gallons a minute of distillate going out, it won't all completely exit the column. And if it doesn't do that, then what's going to happen is that distillate's going to eventually work its way down uh, to the bottoms product and it won't be separated out fully. And the same is true in reverse for the bottoms. If we can't get all the pentane out of this distillation column, then what's going to happen is going to back up into the system, eventually go out to distillate, and then that's um, giving us a bad product. Okay, and so um, we know we have to keep it in balance, but how exactly do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to know is we need to know not only what our maximums are, but then what do we have coming in? And so in this problem, in the book, under normal circumstances, we have 225 gallons a minute of feed coming in. And it's broken down into three different products, catalyst, butane, uh, and pentane. Okay? This is essentially almost all pentane coming out the bottom, and this is essentially almost all butane coming out the top for the distillate. The other thing that we have in this um, example is a, a side stream okay, that goes into a reactor. This has uh, pretty much all the catalyst uh, goes out this way, um, and then some butane, and then just a very little bit of, of pentane. Okay. And so what we have to know is we have to know, you know, 37.7% butane doesn't really tell us much unless we know the actual gallons a minute coming in to know uh, if we're going to be over. So how do we figure that out? Well, if we know flow in and we know the breakdown uh, by percentages, we just take that uh, 0.066 or 6.6% .6 times 225 gives us a catalyst uh, flow rate of 14.85. Okay. And then we do that same for butane, and we do that same for pentane. Okay, butane 0.377 times 225 should equal 84.825. Pentane, same thing. And that gives us roughly our flow out. So most of the catalyst is going to go out the side stream. Most of all the pentane is going to go out the bottoms. Um, some of the butane goes out the top, and some of it goes out the side stream. If our maximum flow for this and this is 140 and 90, then we know we're good. Okay. So under optimal conditions, everything is okay. Well, what does that really mean? Well, we know we're putting in 84 gallons a minute of butane. Okay, we can take out 90, so we're okay there. We know we're putting in 124. We can take out up to 140, so we know we're okay there. So everything should be working under normal conditions. Now, the change is what if we have abnormal conditions? If our reactor upstream isn't running as effectively, if our raw materials changes, uh, all kinds of different reasons why we might have a feed concentration change. And let's say we have a feed concentration change and we move up to 65.5% pentane. Distillation column did not change. We still have the same maximums. We still have an overhead condenser uh, and a reboiler and a pump for the distillate and a pump for the bottoms. They can still handle the same amount of flow. So just because our feed changes doesn't mean we can get any more flow out of the column. We still have our limitations there. So. If we don't make any changes, we still have 225 gallons a minute of feed coming in. It's this side stream still going to be the same size, still going to take the same amount of flow rate coming out. Okay, then what did change then is the concentration coming in. This should still separate effectively, and we should still have a target concentration here uh, on this tray of the column. Now, if we do start to get backed up, this concentration can change, just like the concentration up here can change, and the concentration down here can change. We don't want that to happen. So what do we need to do? We need to figure out, are we out of balance or not? Our flow rate coming in, the actual rate of feed is still 225 gallons a minute at this point. But what did change then, the catalyst did not change, it's still the same. The butane went down by about 10% concentration, which gave us uh, about 22 gallons a minute less. It was about 84 last uh, slide. 
and then there's that 22 gallons a minute more of pentane. It was about uh, 124, 124 something last time. And so notice now our pentane 147.375 is greater than 140. Okay, so it's more than the bottoms out can handle. Just a little bit, 1% of 36.5 gallons a minute, it's not even a half a gallon a minute. So basically that's irrelevant, the amount that goes out the side stream. It almost all comes out the bottoms. So we're over now. Seven gallons a minute may not seem like a lot. Seven gallons a minute won't seem like a lot for a while in a distillation column, especially this distillation column. We're feeding it 225 gallons a minute. It's going to take a long time for this to back up all the way up to the distillate. But I think that's the key, though, for an operator to know that as soon as you can, because once it does back up, then it's going to take a long time to fix the problem. And what you'll end up with is you'll end up with pentane going out where butane should be going out, and you have bad product made. All right, so we know there's an issue. Okay, we know that we have 147.375 gallons a minute of pentane coming in, and we can only take out flow of 140 gallons a minute. So how do we fix this problem? What are we going to do? Well, one very easy, simple solution, I don't know about simple, but one easy solution that we have is we need to slow down the feed rate coming in. Okay, so if we slow this down, we will eventually get down below our 140 here. But how much do we slow it down? We don't just want to pick a guess a number and say, well, we need to go down by a little bit, so let's go down to 224, or let's go down to 200, or let's go down to 150. Right? If we don't go down enough, we're still going to have over 140 gallons a minute, and we're just delaying the problem. If we go down too much, then we're cutting our throughput of our distillation column, and we're not making as much product as what we could be. So we need to figure out an accurate guess, accurate estimation of what we can go down by. So we know a couple of things. We know our target is 140 gallons a minute of pentane coming uh, out. So that should be our target of pentane coming into the column. Okay, We should be targeting about 140 uh, gallons a minute of pentane coming into the column. Okay, we know this is the exact formula from up here, 27.7%, 225 gallons a minute, right? Oops, sorry, that's this one down here, pentane, 65, we're looking at pentane, right? We're not looking at butane uh, for this one. We think the butane's fine because 62.325 um, gallons a minute is lower than this. So we're looking at the pentane, the 65.5 uh, is the same formula that we pulled down. So we know what 147 what we're doing here is we're figuring out right, how can we get this number down to 140. Well, what I want to show you is where did the 147 come from? The 147 came from 65.5% of the feed rate is pentane. And so if we go uh, and try to change that, it was 65.5%. It's still our concentration, but we can't change that. That comes from whatever feed tank, whatever reactor is feeding this distillation column. So we can't really change that. What we and we can't change this either, this 140, that's our maximum without changing out a pump, a heater, uh, and upgrading the column and doing a whole uh, maintenance problem for that. We can't really change that either. What we can change here is we can change the feed going in. Okay, so if we know uh, 140 is our maximum, we know our concentration is 65.5, now our variable becomes well, what is the feed in? What feed in will give us an output of 140 gallons a minute? And so it's just simple algebra to be able to do that. Uh, feed N equals uh, 140 over 65.5. Basically, we just took the 65.5%, uh, divided it on this side of the equation, divided it on this side of the equation to move it over. And our feed N should be about 213.74 uh, gallons per minute or a reduction of about 11.26 gallons per minute. Okay, and so if we do that, we take that 213.74, we're going to double check, should be able to take this number times 65.5%, and we should get really close, right around uh, 140 gallons a minute, which would be able to uh, have us run this system uh, without overlapping it. Okay, now the homework you have assigned that's on Blackboard uh, basically just eliminates this side stream to the reactor. Kind of try to simplify this a little bit. Um, and so you have just feed in and just a simple binary distillation where you have top product coming out, bottom product coming out. Uh, so go ahead and just uh, be able to do, do that question. Uh, let me know if you have any problems or if you have any questions on it. Uh, but it, it should be a little bit even simpler than this because we don't even have to worry about this size. We just kind of uh, 
get rid of that for, for the problem on the homework. 